Hi everybody, the Honda Civic Type R EP3 track day build. We have uh, already been in and swapped out the dash. We'll return that to the standard by putting a silver one in. We've still got these red wheels, these rotor grid 17 inch wheels, which I quite like actually. However, the color is just too much. So a few modifications, this car is going to be a track day car, but we just wanted to make it a little bit less in your face. So we already changed the exhaust, put that back to standard. That makes a, a hell of a difference. Um, it probably down on power a little bit, but it's a lot more manageable to live with. Um, it's, it's probably as loud as, as we need it for what it is. And um, we've already been and changed to the wheels. So let us know what you think of the colour. They are bronze. So that's the, the rotor grids and that back to bronze. The uh, the old ones in comparison, I'll show you, are these ones and they really are very, very red. Um, too much for me. Too much for me. And we've taken two away. We've had two done. Let us know what you think of uh, of these. I think uh, the bronze is a lot more, a lot more modern. Um, I think it shows the black off a little bit better as well. So let us know what you think. So we've done there. Uh, we've cleaned back one of the lights already, and we are now going to polish back this uh, this other light. I know everybody has their favourite polish and whatnot, but today we're going to be using the uh, Mother Scratch Remover. It works just as good as anything. Found this really good uh, for cutting the uh, the grime and uh, the the discoloration out of the the plastic on the light, and also it doesn't um, doesn't affect it. This is the one we've already done. Um, probably going to try and do that a little bit more, but for what it is. That compared with that, it's night and day. I can live with that. So we're going to cut this one back now and I'll show you how to do that. So when you're cutting lights, just get a bit of, get a bit of it on. This one there, the nozzle's a bit naked. Tip a bit on there. Get this, uh, get this onto there. And then if you want to, just start with a small area all a bit on you can't really go wrong just small circles and what I'll try and do I'll try and do an area of it just keep cutting it and cutting it this will just take off all the all the rubbish and you should immediately be able to see um, see a bit more through it if I, if I concentrate on this area a little bit more and then when it starts to dry out just give it a bit of a, a bit of a wipe off and I think Straight out the box there, you can probably see that, can you see, you can see that the area we've done, and that was just once, it's a lot different from here, and it's pretty much as simple as that. So we're going to cut the rest of the, uh, polish the rest of the light up and see how, see how it turns out. And there we go. So that's probably what 10 15 minutes of polishing and it's uh, it's taken all the discoloration off to be honest not perfect But it saves you spending a fortune on new lights and also getting them fitted and it's something you can do yourself in a In a short period of time as I say we're just using mother scratch remover Some people say toothpaste. I think anything with a little bit of air uh, with a little bit in it to uh, just cut the cut it back to be honest most polishes will be fine um you know just uh, just take your time a bit of elbow grease you get good results straight away and then afterwards it's harder to get to get all the discoloration off but it gives you um saves you spending some money for the uh 
for the effort, well worth it.